So we're going to take 144 times 3.14, round it to two decimals, what do you get? You should get 452.16, do you guys get that? And that's the approximate. So again, I'm going to repeat myself. Exact, leave pi there and do the math with everything else. So this was 4 times 6 squared. And that's where the 144 came. And the approximate means now plug 3.14 in and do the math. So since this was multiplication, we just took 144 times 3.14 to get that number. All right, so this is where it just gets uglier and uglier. Um, on D, circular cylinder, again, I think of my oats. If you like drawing, have fun with this, okay? We are given the radius, which is nice. So our radius is 8 feet. And then we are given a height of 3 feet. And that's all we need for our two formulas. Okay, 8 feet and 3 feet. So when we go here to do our formula, my, my volume is just pi r squared. So just the area of the top extended by the height. So v equals pi times r squared times the height. All right, I'm going to leave pi alone, and my radius is 8, so i got to square that, and my height is 3, I don't square him. So how are we going to figure out our exact area, guys? What are we going to do? Square the 8 and multiply by 3 and leave pi there. And you can put pi in front or back, it doesn't really matter. Typically, you put it in back. So if you square 8, you get 64, and then 64 times 3, do you guys get 192? So we have 192 pi, and then feet cubed would be the exact. And then how am I going to go from the exact to the approximate? You got it. I'm just going to turn the pi to that 3.14. So I'm just going to take 192 times 3.14 and round it to two decimal places, you get... 602.88, does that look right? Yeah. Feet cubed. So my math lab will have two spots for you. It'll be one problem, and it'll give you the radius and the height, so it'll say find the volume and the exact, and you would fill in the 192 pi feet cubed, and then it'll say find the volume using 3.14 as an approximate answer, and that's when you just multiply by 3.14 instead of pi, and you get 602.88. The surface area, like I said, is kind of interesting. The surface area is how would we wrap this thing? I would just put it in a bag. I would not try to wrap this, right? Or make it look like a Tootsie Roll. But if you're going to wrap it, you'd have a pi here or a circle here. So that's pi r squared. And you have a circle here. So that's 2 pi r squared. Okay? So that's that first part of the formula. 2 pi r squared. That's the top and bottom. Okay? And then this is actually like a rectangle unfolded. And so that's where the pi, 2 pi r h comes from. So again, kind of write small just because we have to fill it in. So I'm going to write the generic formula 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. All right? So when we first fill things in, we're going to put r squared in, and then we'll multiply it by 2 and leave pi alone. And we'll put r h in, and we'll multiply 2, the r and the h, and leave pi alone. But since they both have pi, we're actually going to be able to combine them. So let's see what's going on. We have... 2 times pi times 8 squared plus 2 times pi times 8 times 3. Does that look right? So our radius was 8, so he's going to go where we see the r, so 8 squared and 8. And then our height was 3, so he's going to go where we see the h. All right, leave pi alone, but you can take 2 times 8 squared, and you can take 2 times 8 times 3. Okay, so leave the pies where they are. So this will be, um, I'm trying to think, 8 squared, guys, that's 64, times 2 would be 128 pi, plus 2 times 6, 3 is 6, 6 times 8 is 48, so you get 48 pi. Is that okay so far? You guys see what I did? But this is what's really weird. Remember when we were introduced to 3.1 with equations, and they're called like terms? These are like terms. Here's a pi, and here's a pi. So guess what we can do? We can add the 128 with the 48, okay? So our exact answer is actually going to be the sum. So what's 128 plus 48? 176 pi. That will be the exact. Mm -hmm. 
Yep, but what's nice though is once you've done the exact, you've done the hard work, for approximate, notice all we have to do is take 176 times our pi. So rounded to two decimals, you got 552.64. So that's the exact, and that's the approximate. And again, what's nice is once you've done, you've done the hard work when you've done the exact, at this point it's just multiplication by 3.14. All right, last one. You guys are doing great. We're going to do the same kind of idea, find the volume and surface area of each, but one's the cone. So, like, literally think of an ice cream cone upside down. And then one's the square pyramid. So a cone is like this. So you have that um, circle. My, my back's, like, in the way. I'm sorry. So you have that circle. We know the height of the cone is four meters, and we know the radius is three meters. But again, you don't have to draw these. You just have to know what a cone is, go to the right formula, and put in your height and your radius, okay? So what's a formula for a cone? It's, again, I'm not gonna get into the, all this crazy stuff, but um, where it comes from, but the volume is one third pi r squared h. So the volume is one third times pi times r squared times h. So we're gonna leave one third in pi alone, but we're gonna fill in our radius of three and our height of four. So one third times pi times three squared times four. All right, so how are we gonna find our exact we're going to multiply all the numbers and leave pi alone. So in your calculator, do 1 divided by 3 times 3 squared times 4. 1 divided by 3 times 3 squared times 4. So we're going to multiply all these 3 and leave pi alone. What do you guys get? Do you get 12? Okay, so that would be 12 pi meters cubed. So that's the exact, but you guys see what I say when you've done the hard part? How are we going to get the approximate? What's wrong, Stacey? Sorry. Because it's volume. Okay. Anytime you measure volume, it's always going to be cubed because it's three dimensions. So anytime, like notice on all of these, all of our volumes were inches cubed, centimeters cubed, inches cubed, feet cubed, meters cubed. So volume is always just cubic because we're filling in the inside. There's always three dimensions. What, what is our approximate? You got it. So this is our exact, and this is our approximate. All right, so this is the one I, I hear. <laughs> this is the worst. So like on a test, I might ask you the volume. That's not horrible. I would not ask you the surface area of the cone. And I don't know if I should have that on recording or not, but it, look at it, it's awful. Okay, so, um, yeah. So uh, I'm gonna show it to you. Notice here, it would be easy if we had our slant height, which you can calculate your slant height because your slant height is based off the Pythagorean theorem, right? So that's like C. So we could do eight squared plus R squared equals C squared to find that. So we can use this easy formula or we can say, screw it, let's just use this formula because we already have R and H. It's totally up to you. Um, I'm gonna go to the one that we already have. So we're gonna use pi R times the square root of R squared plus H squared. But remember, we have a calculator, so we're gonna be able to plug that all in. So these two pies will hang out, and we're gonna plug in our R, 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 and then our H, okay? So we have the surface area is gonna be pi, our radius is three, and then we're gonna take the square root of three squared plus four squared plus pi times three squared. Look at that horrible thing. Why don't you do the square root first? Yes, that's what I was going to say. So it's kind of like a grouping mechanism, right? Like, think of it as parentheses. So in my calculator, I would do 3 squared plus 4 squared to see what number that is. What's 3 squared plus 4 squared? 25. And how nice is that? Because what's the square root of 25? 5, okay? So this is really just 
pi times 3 times 5, because this is the square root of 25, right? Plus, what's 3 squared? 9. They were nice to us, weren't they? All right, so what are we going to do? We're, we can still do the 3 times 5 to get 15. But notice he has a pi and he has a pi, so we'll be able to combine them. So this is 15 pi plus 9 pi. So what is our exact surface area? 24 pi meters squared. Or, again, since we've done the hard work, we can just multiply 24 times pi and get, do you get 75.36 yeah. meters squared. Whew, I'm sweating after that one. All right, last one here. Um, let's just do the volume for it, okay? We'll do the volume. So volume is, and again, try to draw it if you can. I don't know, eek, I'm not very good at these. So we're trying to draw a square based pyramid. Okay, so we have the height is 11, the edge is 10.5, and the slant height here is 12.19, okay? All we care is that it's all told to us, okay? So the volume of a pyramid is one third big B times H, where big B is the area of the base, because pyramids can be built on a triangle, it can be built on a hexagon, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do V equals one third times big B times little h, but over here we'll figure out what big B is first, okay? What kind of pyramid do we have? Square, Square. so if this is 10.5, what's this? 10.5. So we use our, the base is just a square, what's the area of a square? side squared, okay? If that was a triangle, you'd have to do one half base times height, okay? So this is just side squared because it's a square base. So our base is 10.5 squared. Um, I didn't do that individually. What is, is that 110.25? Does that look right? So. What the whole idea, and again, I know it's hard to see, but the whole idea is we're going to figure out how big our base is, and then we're going to extend it up in the three dimensions, but we're going to cut off chunks. So that's like why it's like one third of it, okay? So we got to figure out how wide our base is first. So that's why we have to figure out that first. Now we're going to extend it up by multiplying by the height, and then we're going to cut off chunks because it's not a whole cube, it's just part of a cube chunked, right? So we'll have V equals. One third times our big B of 110.25 times our height of 11. Is that right? Is our height 11? Okay. I did that wrong on my notes, so I got to fix that. What do you guys get when you multiply all those together? What was it? And that will be centimeters cubed. 